Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about a uh, product for the Canon R6 Mark II. This product is also for the Canon R5 and the Canon R6. They're, this product is from JJC. On the label it shows to be named Kiwi Photos. But again, this is a long eye cup. The purpose of this product, and I'll zoom it in a little bit here for you manually. The purpose of this product is to replace the existing, and this is my Canon R6 Mark II, the existing eye cup that comes with the Canon R6 Mark II on the electronic viewfinder. Uh, the problem with this one, it's about 12, 12 millimeters from the body to the actual eye cup. So it is kind of limited. And what that, what that kind of causes is your face ends up being a bit closer to the LCD screen. So you end up kind of uh, uh, having your nose bashed into the LCD screen. So the purpose of this long eye cup is to uh, give you a little bit more space. This gives you about 24 millimeters, double the distance from the body of the camera at the viewfinder point here to to the uh, uh, end of the eye cup. So let's go ahead and open up this kit and look at how what's involved to install this. It's not very complicated, but we'll go ahead and cover what's in the kit. So in the box, when you open this up, you're going to find that it does come with the actual eye cup itself. Uh, it is definitely good quality overall. And uh, the silicone rubber here is very nice. It does have the gap here for the sensor that allows the camera to detect whether or not you have your face in the uh, viewfinder, which in turn causes the LCD display to switch over to the actual viewfinder. So that's kind of a cool design that they did there, very nice. This is of course a rubber material or rubber silicone material. And then in the kit, you will also find some instructions on how to go about uh, replacing the actual eye cup. And I'll kind of go over that just doing the actual install. And in this case, you'll find this. Oh, there's also in the box, four little screws are very tiny. These are replacement screws that come with the product itself, uh, the kit. And they're the same type of screws. Uh, you're gonna pull two of them, I'll show you here in a minute, off the camera. But those are the screws that we're dealing with. It also comes with this little Phillips screwdriver, which is not bad in my case. It's a little too small for my fingers. So I have mine from a actual iPhone kit that I have that has the same bit here. I think it's a number zero zero. Uh, Phillips bit that I use in there. I kind of measured it based on what's already there. Now, to actually replace the actual cup, I'm going to note here, the two screws that you need to remove are right under the actual eye cup at the bottom here. So there's only two total there. Best thing to do is to go ahead and get your LCD screen opened up and out of the way when you're working on this to remove the screws. And, um, uh, a thing to note when you're doing these screws and removing them, they're very tight. You have to apply some mild pressure to the Phillips screw itself to make sure that you don't uh, damage the threading. And uh, again, just cautious, mild pressure, making sure you don't, because there at the beginning, you're going to notice that they're super tight. And once you remove it, it's kind of a, a lot looser, a lot easier to take off. So that's something to note when you're doing this. You also don't want to accidentally move your Phillips screwdriver. Now my tip's not magnetic, so I'm going to try and remove these with my tweezers. Um, having extra tools on the side that are a little bit more quality to me is better. Not that the little Phillips screwdriver is not bad at all, but with my big fingers, I kind of need all the help I can get. And this is actually 
a lot better. Before I do that, let me show you the comparison of the JJC brand iCup compared to the original Canon R6 Mark II iCup. Again, this is about 20, 12 millimeters as far as how wide this is versus from here to here being 24 millimeters, like double. So that's the difference between the two. And if you also notice the shape here, this is a C-shaped one. There's nothing there at the bottom, but for the larger uh, long eye cup here, it definitely has a bit more uh, around here, which kind of helps in a way because that's going to minimize your, the, the light that goes between your eye and the actual viewfinder when you do have this uh, where, you, where your eye is right against it. So that's kind of a nice thing. Plastic, everything good quality. Uh, what exact kind of material, I can't tell you offhand right now, but it's definitely very good quality. It does look original, which is nice. Now, as far as putting it back in, I'm holding the eye cup from the bottom just so it doesn't come off while I add the little screws. Make sure the screws are aligned good before you start screwing them in. I like to screw one in first partially, not all the way tightened. And then that gives me the opportunity to tighten the second one. And that way I'm not having any issues. So definitely um, that's something to consider when you're screwing these in there. So once I've got them both screwed in partially, I can go in and do the second part, which is to go ahead and screen the, screw these in completely. And um, that's pretty much it. Not much to it. Uh, definitely a nice snug tight fit. If you notice here, uh, it does not get in the way of the little wheel that lets you adjust the optics for the viewfinder. So definitely the spacing is there for that part of it. All around, it's a nice, good snug fit. And there you have it. Not a lot to get that installed. Uh, definitely big difference there if I can do the angle here. Let me take the background out of the way so you got a better view of it. But if you notice now from the screen itself, you've got that much more space. Again, 24 millimeter and about another 12, roughly uh, 36, 34 millimeters from the LCD screen itself to the actual eye cup. So that is really, really good. And again, you do have the viewfinder sensor here that won't be uh, impacted by the bottom part of the silicone eye cup because that is shaped around the actual sensor. The other nice thing overall here, it does not get in the way of the actual opening of the LCD screen. See if I can get a good view there. It definitely does not touch in any ways. It doesn't touch that LCD screen. So there you have it folks. Um, a product from JJC. I look forward to using this uh, on a bright sunny day. Now I should be able to get a better view of my viewfinder and also <laughs> benefiting. I have a bit of a long nose and at least now with this I know that uh, I definitely won't have an issue with my face and nose being right against the LCD screen. And uh, Again, pretty good product, good quality product. I figured I'd share it with you guys. Uh, please make sure to click on the like for me and also, uh, if you can, uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, that helps grow my channel, also helps me uh, produce more videos for you. I'll go ahead and put the link to the uh, Amazon site where I purchased this on the description. And uh, again, uh, thank you for watching this video and have a good day.